All right, welcome back to the flip classroom. Today we're going to be talking about section 6-4, which is solving special systems. So we've talked about using the substitution method. We've talked about using the elimination method. We've even talked about solving systems by graphing. But today we're going to talk about some examples that aren't always as pretty and easy as the other ones. So the first example that we'll do is y equals x plus 1 and negative x plus y equals 3. It doesn't look like a very difficult problem. The hard part is going to be what we do when we get to our answer. So <clears throat> we need to figure out the easiest way to solve this problem using the elimination or substitution method. Looking at this problem, I already have one of my variables isolated, so I'm going to go ahead and use the substitution method. Step one is taken care of for me. Step two, I'll take x plus one and substitute it in for my y value. And since there's nothing to distribute outside except for a positive, I'll drop the parentheses, and this is our step two. Step three is to solve the equation. So solving the equation, negative x and positive x zeroes out, and one equals three. Problem with this, when does one equal three? Never. So what this means is that there is no solution. What no solution means is that these two lines are parallel, as in they will never cross each other. They both run along the same slope. They just have different y-intercepts. So this is our first example of a special system. Our second example is y equals negative x plus 3, x plus y minus 3 equals 0. So once again, step 1 is taken care of for me, so I'm going to use the substitution method. I've already got a y that is completely isolated. I'll take the y and I'll replace it or I'll substitute in negative x plus 3. All right. And once again I've got the positive outside, nothing to distribute, so I can drop the parentheses. From here I'll combine like terms and I'll combine like terms. X and negative X gives me zero. Three and negative three gets me zero. Zero plus zero equals zero. And so step two was to plug it in. Step three, well, zero equals zero. When does zero equal zero? Always. So what this means is that these two lines are actually the same exact line. If I look at this a little bit further, my first equation is y equals negative x plus 3. My second equation, if I were to try to get this y by itself, subtract the x, y minus 3 equals negative x, add 3. So with a little bit of work, I see that both of these equations are the same exact line anyways, which would end up being all real numbers because they're laying right on top of each other. They're the same exact line. This is the second different type of a special system.
Our third example is a little bit more complex. Negative 9x minus 3y equals negative 18. And 3x plus y equals 6. <coughs> what I want to try to do here, since I have uh, both of these are in standard form, so what I want to try to do is I want to try to use the elimination method. The previous two problems we used the substitution method. So using the elimination method, I need to create an opposite pair, either between the negative 9x and the 3x, or the negative 3y and the positive y. So we'll go ahead and go off of the x. In order to get this 3 to be an opposite pair of negative 9, I need to take everything in this equation and multiply it by 3. So I'll distribute that in. Should have 9x plus 3y equals 18. And I'll drop down my first equation. Now I've got my new set of equations, so I have done step one. Step two is to eliminate one of the variables. Well, I'll add this straight down, this ends up zeroing out. I'll also add the 3y and the minus 3y, and that zeroes out. I'll add the 18 and the negative 18, and that zeroes out, giving us a whole lot of zero. So knowing that zero equals zero, this goes back to my solution of all real numbers. So in special systems, we either have all real numbers where they're the same exact line, same slope, say y-intercept, or they are no solution. They have a different slope and they never actually cross each other. So, this is section 6-4, solving special systems. Go ahead and go through, make sure that these are in your notes, and we'll talk about it during class.